All right, what's up, disc golfers? Uh, Mad Dollar here, and I just finished the Jonesboro Open, waiting for my boy Snappy Cole to finish so we can head home. If I'm gonna be at the disc golf course all day, might as well do something useful. So I'm gonna give a couple uh, thumber tips. So I've been wanting to do some thumber videos, and uh, I guess this will be the first one. First rule of thumbers though, always warm it up, man. I'm telling you, you can hurt yourself, and when you hear people talking about hurting themselves, um, throwing overhands, or somebody says, Oh, if I did that, my arm would fall off. Man, it's really just because you don't stretch it out. Are all your normal stretching routines. And then also go to some things like this maneuver here. Really get that stretched out good. And this maneuver here. You want to do these multiple times. Flexing your, flexing your fingers out. These are just all these different moves you want to do to get your shoulder nice and worked out. And I don't ever come out and just like throw one because it'll really hurt my elbow. Uh, so what I do is I throw a bunch of really short ones, like 100 feet at most, uh, just barely doing it, barely going through the motions. Either that or I'll take juggling balls, racket balls, tennis balls, whatever, and throw those. If I don't have any of that, I'll take a heavy towel um, or sticks. I mean, whatever it takes, but you've got to get this motion warm over and over and over again. Okay, now the biggest thing when it comes to safety about throwing thumbers is when you throw the thumber, you only want your arm to go from back to forward. Your action movement is only back to forward. A lot of people hurt themselves because they get up here and then when they go to throw the thumber, they move their arm forward and they start coming back and then they try to create this whip-like thing and that will rip your shoulder or elbow in half. You have to bring it all the way back and then only move forward. So all the way back, only move forward. Now, you can still come back this way, but I would suggest coming back like this, almost like Macbeth does his sidearms. And the reason is because it gets it back here locked in place before you accelerate forward and have any chance of hurting your elbow. My thumber grip looks like this. So, I've got, I'm holding it, pinching it right here, setting it in here, gripping here, and using this finger as my guide. And then when I throw it, I don't want to turn my wrist, I want to go downwards like this. Alright, so I'm going to throw a few. Only back to forward, it's like throwing a dart. I'm gonna keep this motion here. And depending on what disc you have, um, an overstable disc will like to go left and then right. Understable will just go right. So you have to vary your angles and aiming points for these things, like Photon here, then Insanity, then Octane. These are all relatively, this one won't be super flippy, but these will, so I have to adjust my aiming point. See how the octane is super fast but understable, so it barrel rolls super quick in the air, and that's super handy to have in the woods in tight gaps. 